worry about it. Just to make things clear. <laughs> wow. Now there. Why is their coat backwards? Or laying on them? I don't know why, but they're now laying dead in front of me. I told you, there's a corpse hanging out here. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? We need to begin looking around. We need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. So is this the investigation? Yep. What the fuck? Yep. It just throws you into it, huh? Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, we need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know... ...is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are staying a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that there's... That's... <coughs> oh, There is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are hidden, so I don't have a clue. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? How can you tell? Well, well I think this, I see the outlines of her chest and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Ah, it wasn't a luchador, it was a luchadora! Whoa! They could it be. Okay, then. Let's just tear the mask off clean. Come on. Wait, don't! By the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot toward the mask. And the next instant, instant... Oh! We fucking blowing up now, too? What the hell? There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up. Okay, yep. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. But then... Hurry up. Put out that fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. Lovely. Now the body is burnt. Mm -hmm. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded? What, what did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. Now the body... It's completely unrecognizable. It's burnt to a crisp. That body, that's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. You'll never be able to eat steak again. Oh, I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? Huh? What? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow who it must be. Um... There's only one person missing. Um... It's Kyoko. Kyoko? Then that dead body is Kyoko. Wow. No, that can't be right. Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, but I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words, the mastermind. What? 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 The mastermind? The well, there's no way the mastermind got charred and boiled. Get serious. Hm. I agree. Normally, the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have a reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain the other matter, wouldn't it? 
Motokuma could hardly move around if the Mastermind's dead. Right? But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the Mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the Headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, like, even lengthy, that he's somewhere in the school right now. Except the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? It is the teenage girl Kyoko told me about. The ultimate despair? Huh? Oh. Makuru... I can't pronounce that last name. The 16th student at Hope's Peak. What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Same shit. We know this. It's not like Kyoko thinks Makuro is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of it. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I, no doubt I'm right. I see. There's another student here, and it's fe it's a female? That would match the body's characteristics. Yeah, um, and that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermind doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so... <coughs> oh, fuck. Okay, so the mastermind is the girl, Makuro, and she's a student here, and she's ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she mind wind up burnt to a crypt? Yeah, let's go with that. No, this makes any sense. To suddenly show up and then die. Hmm. I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, oh, hey, wait. What? What? Um... Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko? Oh yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Hmm. Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. No, she's okay, apparently. Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. <laughs> hey, what just happened, Master? You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you inhale. That's enough for me to live. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Okay. Hey, look, a knife. Right now, I have to focus on the body. Oh, okay. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Watch her, Zombakoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. What the fuck does that mean? That's don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko after all. Let's take a close look. Hmm. Mm hmm. What's this? There's something next to the body. It's. It's a key. A key. It is what Kyoko took from Monokuma. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. No, it's not the same key, Mon. Makoto, you fucking daft cunt. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like a Monokuma. That's a different key. And this key is... What? What is it, you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. Never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then. Hmm. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. What? I see. The key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So in other the words, bio lab, the data center, the headmaster room, the dorms room on the second floor. Dorm rooms on the second floor. Mm-hmm. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. Oh. Well. I guess we investigate. Full investigation now or There's no um. Huh? I was saying, do, do we want to do the full investigation now or save it with the trial? Uh, let's see. Two hours, 19. Let's 
Let's finish the investigation and then do trial next time. Okay. The bio lab was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to enter the key, I found in the garden into the keyhole. The key isn't even close to fitting. Okay. So where am I going then? That's the key. So let's see. Fourth floor. That is the uh, music. <laughs> mm. Let's try the headmaster's room. It's probably not this, but I'm um, making me check. Well, key won't go weird. I guess that means it doesn't go to this door. Whippy! Knew that. Was there another room here? Oh, yeah, it was. Wait. Oh, the data center. You know, I'm pretty sure it goes to the data center. Oh, man, you always say. It's, it's not like the key has a bunch of patterns that match it, right? Woohoo! It fits! I might as well. Oh, the, oh Jesus. I have to go everyone. Why don't you go in first? Oh, my god, it's boring. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center one. Then we can get into the data center now. I see. Interesting. But why did you. But why did the now deceased have the key on them? I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. I think you're right. You ha okay, well, hmm. here we are. Looks like the door's still unlocked. Um. Hey, so when you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, um. You're asking that question now? Hmm. Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? In other words. It's in your hands. All state. Again, hmm. I mean, I trust you. That's an absolute lie, I'm just being used. Well, I look, I'm very short compared to everyone else. <laughs> what the hell? I just noticed that. Makoto midget. I reach out and put my hand on the door. I close my eyes and try to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly open the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly open my eyes. Ooh, look at this room. Oh, it's everyone's room. Oh, yes. And a word. The room was... Strange. That's not the word I would choose. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a specific kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Here extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Every room in the goddamn school. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. This is... What? This is a direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. And they're displayed here on these monitors. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. To watch us? This room is the surveillance room. Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think that is that this is settled. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't. I didn't clock what he said. Huh. The body in the garden. <laughs> If they had the key to this room, I can it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that that was the body of Makuro. And she was the mastermind. <gasps> then the mastermind's dead? Like really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. For serious? It's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill him kill them themselves himself. Ugh. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Cause I mean that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was it? Who was it that? But if the Mastermind really, is, really is dead, that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and find the exit. Come on! That's enough. 
No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh, but what about the exit? Hm. If the mastermind is truly dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. Hm. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. What? What? Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. Hmm. Say that the course makes it plain as day. There's, there is absolutely no doubt that mastermind was murdered. But w why? It's got to be that way. Why has it got to be that way? I mean, we could have even done it. Who could have even done it? Such. That's ignorant. exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. Now you do. Now do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from talking to Master ever again. The mastermind's purpose and why? Why they were killed? This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the mastermind must have spent who knows how long, how much time here. Hmm. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. I like the Monokuma door. Mm. This door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could it be? What could be inside? It's locked, of course. Um. The door is locked. The door's locked, huh? What if you use the key that opens this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nope. It won't fit in the keyhole. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The bear key. We do not have the bear key. Kyoko has the bear key. We don't know where she is. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about the door with Monokuma picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Nina's right. The mastermind's gone so far, there's not to be afraid anymore. Okay, what was the... the d -d 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 button? I forgot the buttons. Whatever. <laughs> there's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like a high-performance PC. Nothing like the ancient laptop Walter Rico was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what? So what? We can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? What century are you from? Damn. Their master must have been using these monitors. Monitor? Using these to monitor the network. And Alter Ego. Hmm. You may be right about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it right now. You're right. I remember the button. There you go. There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. Wow, look at them all. And the mastermind's been using them to spy on us. As long as I have this. Huh? Look at my master go. It's like a feast. For oh my goodness. How, mu how much is the m m monthly member? Oh. Okay. Why is there a camera in here? No matter when, no matter where, his friends' cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have, anyway? What'd you say? To keep double eye on this room. Must be a camera in the fucking, whatchamacallit, the headmaster's room. There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm. Hey. Oh, hey, look, next to the t a TV. Is that a TV antenna? That looks like a dildo. How about the that? fuck? I don't know. It is. It's just like the one my grandma uses. <laughs> That's funny, out of context. It's only one of those high def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Huh? Did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning, Hina's here. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Oh, uh, you're all star for the info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. All right, let me get work my magic, and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? You know? Mm -hmm. huh? Oh. Oh ho ho ho! What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Ah. Really? Hmm. Now all I gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Uh, Freaking idiot mastermind. All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. What the heck? Are, are they were 
And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. I hope the TV explodes. Oh, it's us. Huh? Huh, this is... It's the feet coming from the surveillance camera, monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? Oh, that's weird. Come on. Hey, what? What are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You're weird. Weird in every way possible, and not just weird, super weird. But. But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Well. Did you try changing the channel? Um... Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Girl went through each channel one by one. Well, on every channel, it was just us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck, bear? <laughs> a trick? <laughs> what kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but <laughs> ah, hmm? ah, huh? whoa, huh? whoa. Been a while, you freaking bastards. <laughs> Monokuma. How you're supposed how? You're supposed to be dead. Me? Dead? Don't be freaking stupid. Hey, you're acting kinda of strange. Something seems different. Of course. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years now already. Not even, it's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? Oh yeah, that's it. Hoo hoo hoo. The look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. What would I bear pretend to be dead? You're the one who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. Ha ha. And that's that. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you, I want you to all have the way... Want you to, oh, well, I want you to all have way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going? No, we were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides... This life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in the despair? Well, now. well I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point. Hey, um... Uh, oh god. You guys really stu struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. Why well, connect it to the antenna? So why is it just showing us some, us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna go let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. The TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? Huh? But what does that mean? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. You're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Girls, chills, this killing gang is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Whoa. Yep. We're on reality TV. Broadcasted on TV. Hmm. What? Extreme. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Again. It doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm, sh not, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. W what? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? The camera feed is being broadcast? No way, that's impossible. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system. You know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airways is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course. I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat 
to to tossing in the ocean. My mind has begun to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about schools, mysteries, even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for a captive audience to show them true despair, like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best despair entertainment. What are you saying? Entertainment? You're lying. It was. If this was on TV, the police and everyone would else be going crazy. Uh, um, yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come rescue us. Actually. What if they already did? What? Yes, indeed. Well, then again, I'm not really any of their. It's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come up here to help you? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astro astro astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Yeah, duh. There's a, the little business of... Bing Bong! A body has been discovered! Yippee! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! And now the investigation's officially starting. Oh boy, huh? Class trial, do you mean? Haha. <laughs> That's a lot. It's the I'll leave the mono next Monokuma file right here. Everyone give it your all. You've got, okay. I, yeah. Pounding excitement. Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in a you're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! He can't, he can't wait. Yep. And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. I took everything I had to just to keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment? How is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that's parts obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko? What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Makuro was, it was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means the mastermind Mer Makuro isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. Body's Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? It's not possible. It's because it's not her. I don't even know who she really is. I have to end it like this. Woo. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, your responsibility to undercover the truth for yourself, myself. <laughs> anyway, we better begin. But, but if we are going to have a class trial, then that means the killer. That's right. Correct. Must be someone participating in our school life. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Oh, but you just said. Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. This is a v v veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. So I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how this game works, after all. Uh, investigation. Uh, whoa! We got some bops playing right now. What'd you say? I was just saying now the investigation has officially begun. We'll fill in the air for me, because I need to take a break for a second. Get up. Ow, fuck. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know who died. 
<laughs> at all. <laughs> Bayakia thinks it's Kyoko. And everything's just fucking confusing. I agree. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> mm. Well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim has been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. Metal pipe? I wish I had that on lock. I don't. The body was uncovered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Okay. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. We're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Sweet. Back at the garden. Ooh. Okay, now <laughs> to get started, I need to check every anywhere that may be aboard from one end to the other. Uh, I just need to do whatever what I always do. Let's check out. These are like fragments of something. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure of it, but I feel like I've seen something like this before. Yeah, you have. But where? Wait, was it there? I'll have to double check that later. Okay. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this? Oh my god. It must be the knife that was struck in the body before it exploded. The the explosion must have thrown it over here some. Over here. Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. Does that mean the knife is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife... It looks really familiar. It's the knife from your room! That's crazy! The Luchador. It's the knife that person was holding. This is getting really weird. There's too many strange coincidences. Uh, cool, couldn't... Uh, <laughs> Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. That's the same knife was used to stab the same mass attacker we found here. So maybe this mass person got stabbed because... When they attacked, I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. Maybe then I... I... And if this is... If this really is Kyoko... What do you mean? Kyoko is the one that who had attacked me, but why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. It can't be. There's no way. Okay. Let's check the body itself. If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. Let's take a peek. Ah, uh, Let's look at that. Look at those fingies. Huh. There's something weird about the body's fingernail. They have, uh... Red fake nails on. They're really long. Seems like they're, they'd get in the way of normal activity. They also have a wolf on their head. Hand. There's also something on the back of her right hand. A tattoo. Got It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but... Looks like a picture of a dog. Or something I've never seen anything like before. Dog with... Dog with star. Rip. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire, so I have to buck on a bucket of water on it. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? Why would he bring that up? Okay. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. I, I, I fucking zoned out. What were you talking about? It's like, why did he bring it up? No, I'm not gonna explain it to you. You should have, you should have zoned out. Okay. 
The upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's because of it got set on fire and I threw water on it. it. Says I only threw water on the part of that was on fire. At the top half and the bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? Exploded body analysis. Cool. Well, I'm done looking at that. The chicken survived the explosion? Where'd my cock go? I count four chickens. Four. Wait, yeah, the body. Part of the body not being wet is actually extremely important. Okay. What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Hmm. Of course, there were precisely five chickens. Yeah, right? Huh? What's wrong? Where the fuck's my other chicken? There's only four chickens here now. We're one short. Ah! Scream. That's so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. What? I was down here just before nighttime last night. There were definitely five chickens then. So what are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Conspiracy. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. It's just a chicken. Why then won't the chicken disappear? Could it be related to the case? I think someone wanted chicken tendies. Anything yeah, strange about the plant? Is it true? Does it really... I guess not. Uh, let's check the shed before we're talking to everyone else. Just to be sure, I should take a look at the chill shed. This room is dusty and disorganized, in other words, there, da, da, da. What's that? Is this is a, a tarp. Was there a tarp in here before? I should probably look at look into that. It could be related to the case. Well, look at it. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime. But the underside is totally clean and completely dry. One side of the tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the one thing in here that concerns me. Yep. I agree. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what else? Let's check this thing. This thing could change. This is the panel that controls the sprinklers. They're set to 7.30 every morning, and Monoclo said the time possibly couldn't be changed. Hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then if the body was here before then, the sprinkler should have gotten it wet. Which would mean the murderer must have taken... Wait, which would mean the murder must have taken place... <gasps> oh my god. Hina, you know, what do you have to say? Listen, Makoto. Do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Um, if I remember right. It was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. Bayoko said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, it didn't, didn't see any on the ground around it. Okay. Oh, thanks. That was a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it, that helped me remember a lot better, too. So, thank you, too. Wow. Wow. What do you have to say? So, who does the body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not going to look. I don't want to fade anymore. Okay, waste of time. Hmm. Good time, Makoto. I want to talk to you. Okay. What do you want to talk about? So, in other words, i like to hear your alibi. Alibi? In other words, Correct. I love to hear... I love to hear where you were after nighttime began, began last night. Um, well, I was sick, so I was asleep all night. But why are you asking about that now? And what's nighttime got to do with it? Naturally. Is it obvious the murder took place after nighttime? How can you know that for sure? Hmm. 
because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hero has been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm when I arrived last night, the body was not. There was no body here. In other words. So the murder could have taken place at some point during nighttime after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. What? Hm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's room to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. A precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And if the victim yep. really is Kyoko, then I'm the only one without an alibi. <laughs> also, when we went to go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? But you never came to the door, so where precisely were you? I'm telling you the truth. I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so that's hardly an alibi. Uh, okay. I know. <laughs> so what now? You seem to be at a quite disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Yep. Cool. What about that golden plane I got you, man? That'd be nothing to you. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? <laughs> I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember that when that was. Monokuma's announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock, as usual, and I headed for the dining hall pretty soon. Once I got there, I met with Hina. That was right around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym where everyone else was waiting. Next, Toko went to get the pickaxe. And that's when she found the body. What time was it then? It's like 9, right? Hmm. Yep, 9 on the dot. That's right, I had to be here right around 9 o'clock. Ah, now that you mention it, I think you're right. So I think we could say for sure that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small job. Cool. Uh-oh. I think I've checked everything I need to in this, oh, this area. But I'm not done yet. There's other areas I need to check. Specifically, that fragment <laughs> I found before. Where is that from? I'm trying to remember. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicion. I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Is that corpse really Kyoko? Is that that? If, if that's true, Luchadora was actually Kyoko? No way! I didn't know she was a professional wrestler. With a knife? If I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never that kind of person to talk about herself at all that much. Maybe if I can get her into her room, I'll be able to find out more. But the key to her room... It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Yeah, key, he has it. I don't have a choice. I have to see if he'll let me borrow his room key. Her room key. Give me the key! Hey, uh, Byakuya? Hm. If you come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later at the class trial. Oh no, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect after all. Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then will you go with me? Hmm. Sorry, I have my own agenda to take her of. Find me again later and we'll see. Goodbye. Depending on my mood, I may go with you. Or may I may not. What the fuck? Maybe I should check out that one area. Oh, what area? The fucking the death gym. room? Gym. Oh, the gym? Why? That piece that looks recognizable is piece of the bomb. Is it? The, the, the red part is the corner of the timer. Oh. 
Why is it not let me fast travel? There we go. Also, what other bombs do we know of? That bitch's face blew up when we took the mask off. Uh, you're forgetting the bomb? Yeah, get fucked. Fuck <laughs> Figured it wouldn't be here. You know? I just found something. What is it? It's the bomb. Hmm. And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about it. About that, the fragments are found in the garden. Huh. Okay, I've checked everything I can think of. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. I should head back to the garden and ask Biakia. What the fuck? I did all oh, that. Stop. To... Right, Biakia, you bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Map. To the garden. Hello. Are you ready to go now? You think you can go soon, Biakia? Let's go. Watch out, Kyoko's room, right? Very well, let's go. What the fuck? Wait for me. He's ready. Sci-fi. Oh, yeah, it's the first door. Screamed outside. What the fuck was that? Ghost. Hmm. Well then, here we go. Biakia took out the key and slid it into the keyhole, and then click, and it's open. Looks like it. Thanks. I'll be going in. And it's like a normal room. So this is Kyoko's room. I see book. I click on book. There's some, some there's something on the table. Oh wait, it's a woodblock decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does that does it serve? I think it's probably a, a key. The lockers at the at those really traditional public bathhouse uses them for their lock. What? Okay. Hmm. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to the public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. It's certainly possible. But if it is a key, I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? What? Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that might it, that this might go to. The dojo. Okay. Is there anything else here? Oh, wait. Shake the bathroom real quick. Certain article hanging uh, out and look inside. Bed. Checking everything. And is that it? That looks like it. Okay. Oh, what do you have to say? What? You want to come here, right? So, what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might find some kind of clue here. A clue that might help us understand. Life series. Sorry. Rather, if you plan on poking around at a random, you're doomed no matter what, how much you take. Surely, we have something more add concrete, something to give us some sort of direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider a symbol of determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it. Hmm. What's in this? What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said it's something. If something ever happened to it, if something ever happened, I should open it. Hmm. Well, it certainly has. Something has certainly happened. So open it. Okay. I opened the envelope and looked inside. Inside was a single piece of paper, and it exploded. It was a paper bomb. No. Under the sheets. What? That's all that was in there? Yeah, looks like it. Under the sheets? What could it be? How about the fucking bed, Mikoto? Nah. Nah? <laughs> nah. But could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but as I lifted up the sheets, whoa, lo and behold, there's something there, because it said under the fucking sheets. Nah. I found a crumbled up piece of paper. Wow. Sex F. Class number 78 student registry. Bakuru Ikisibibe. It appears to be Bakuru, pro Bakuru's profile. Yeah, it looks like it. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room along with the key. 
God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and a dildo. That's it. This must be Blake that Mon Monokuma was talking about. Damn. Gyoko said, was, said a death without meaning was unappealing. And this is what she left behind. Hmm. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and finish your search. Okay. I made an effort to pull myself together, then look down at the profile sheet. Wow. Name Makuro. Sex female. The ultimate soldier. Soldier? Yep. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. In, uh, in elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing the military magazines. Just before entering middle school, she, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An intense international investigation turned up no information, and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. She insisted that she had been kidnapped, that she'd received battle training of her own volition. However, she was never re revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Yep, the 16th student is the ultimate soldier. But why didn't we get to meet her? The ultimate soldier of mercenary group. This doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in is like a completely different dimension. It's like one... One's non-fiction and one's is sci-fi. There's no way to even compare the two. That's how different this is. That was how I saw things as just as ordinary person, but then... I see. Never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Ah, oh, you recognize it. Naturally. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says that Fenrir has already... Found it. Whoa! I feel like I've, our hero is becoming a bit... A bit player, and a bit player is becoming our hero. Uh, okay. Ah, it's you! Hmm. What have you got in your pretty little hand there? Uh-oh, you found her profile! So what if I, we did? Don't freak out on me. I'm not going to hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either, even though she stole it and hit it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami, who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. Bears are om omnivorous, uh, whatever, you know. What? Are rule violations really so unforgivable? You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Hmm. Of course I am. A proper school life is built on the dedication to organize and order. Which is why I, as a school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. Oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Of Absolutely. I can't have you complaining about how unfair it all it, it all is. Now can I? In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting. <laughs> it's about one writing... It's about the one writing all the rules. They're actually one of the participants in this killing game. Wow. I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants there actually were, did I? Hmm. I was thinking, I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you all first got together in the main hallway... Back when there were 15 people there, right? There were 15 people there, right? I think that first meeting may have led a little misunderstanding on you all. Okay. A misunderstanding? Are you saying... In other words, That's right. There were actually 15 of you. Yes, indeed. The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16. 16? Then... This fucking see How many times are we going to play this one? A lot. The 16th student, Makuro. She's part of the school life. So the one making all the regulations is... Why? Yeah, why? Huh? Did you say something? 
Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh, well, because. Like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complacent hate mail, you know. Yes, indeed. Makes sense. Well, now. Okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have to have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? Yeah. I want to get back at the sneaky Miss Kirigiri, so I'm going to share a little secret with you. Seriously. Hey, um... You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in, day out, all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. What? <laughs> okay, now, that's all you get. There's a lot of information dropped on me. Yes. Kyoko wears gloves to cover up a bunch of scars? Wait, so on the back of her hand... No, that's a Fenrir tattoo. It makes sense now. Yeah, that's why the that, that glove statement is actually important. Wait, but no. Monokuma Spoon said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide the scars. Which means... Dash now Kyoko! Those fake nails on the corpse. Also, I like how he's not mentioning the most important part of that hand. What's up? The, the fingernails? The tattoo? Oh. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Uh, forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. Strap. God, must have, must have really hated you to make you so dull. Hmm. Don't you remember the, what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mar Makuro was a student here. Right. Obviously, Monokuma was trying to tell us Makuro is the one creating the rules to the game. But why would he tell us that, and why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. But that mere fact that he said that proves that Makuro is connected to this case. That's why, Mon <coughs> That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Makuro re is related to the case. It's certainly possible. Perhaps she's the one who killed Kyoko. What? Hmm. That would explain I why... There's a wolf tattoo on her hand. That would explain why we have a class trial, wouldn't we? If she's a student, if I she killed someone... I'm really fucking stupid in this trial. Huh? Bayaki is being, like, just blatantly stupid in this, like, investigation. Yeah. We were just told Kyoko wears gloves to hide scars. And we also just learned of a fucking 16th student that is a mercenary in a group called Fenrir. So... And there's a tattoo on off. the hand of the body that has a dog, which is Fenrir. Most likely. Because dog equals Fenrir, I guess. I don't know. And that makes her... A wolf, dog, whatever. Make her part of the school killing game. Makuro is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Hmm. Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? No. In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. What? But based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. It's all clear now. Ugh. Makuro isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. We thought Makuro, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the Mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's yeah, a good that's point. It. Yep. So in other words, Makuro gives us information that would raise, or would raise questions about her. Would be bold to say the least. It makes more sense then to assume that Makuro isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want us to suspect Makuro and come to the wrong conclusion. <laughs> That's what makes sense to me. The way you say is definitely does seem possible, but if that's really true, if Makuro is the killer, then who is? Hmm. Well, that's that's question. Well then, I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there's other places in need of investigation. Yeah, I should find that. Yeah, that fucking dojo Let's key. Go. Well, are you coming? Are we going together? I guess we're going together. My new Fuendo. Oh, we got lockers over here. There are one lockers here. They use wood lock 
wood block keys, just like at those super traditional public bathhouses. Looks like the key we found in Kyoko's room really does go to one of these lockers. I see. Makoto, do you see the locker farthest to the right? Very strange. It says six, and it's missing a block. That's the only one who that doesn't have a key in it at the moment. You understand what that means, right? I should probably use the key we found on that locker, right? That's right. Well, just try it. Okay. I took out the wood block key and inserted it into the locker's metal lock. And... Click, click. The locker eagerly accepted the key and it opened. Hello? Ooh. There are arrows in here. It looks like ten arrows in total. Hmm. They look what? They look like they've... They're made of titanium, which means they're quite strong despite how thin they are. Of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. I like strong stick. Titanium, titanium arrows, okay. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a wadded up ball of duct tape. I wonder what this was used for. Oh, it has blood on it. I see. If it is... If it is... That means it must surely be related to the case. This duct tape is related to the case somehow. But how could it possibly be involved? That is a good question. I think that's all the locker has to offer for now. Something wrong? Very it's very odd, don't you think? The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps... Biakia. Hmm. Forget it. Lovely. Come on, we need to continue on to the next location. Uh, what? what next location? What? what? Yeah, just how much blatantly Biakia is just ignoring just the most obvious fucking information we have. Mm -hmm. There's still something we need to look into. We need to look, do more research on Fenrir. You mean the mercenary group that Mercuro was part of? How are we supposed to find out about that? Isn't it obvious? Where in the school? Where in the school would you go to do research on something? Their library. No, the archive. That's right. The archive has all kinds of info that the general public doesn't have access to. Didn't you read it all? He well, did. Then why? Okay. We only have so much time left before the trial begins. Let's hurry. Yeah, we're almost done with the investigation already. Hmm. I believe there was a file related to the Fenrir somewhere over here. To say it, it went straight to the shelf in the back. Hmm. Ah, here we go. He quickly returned with file in hand. Well, spit it out there, Junior. Take a look at this. Um, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Hmm. How did you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Uh, I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah. I'll read it for you. But I expect you to replay your debt a hundred times over. Sucker in blue. We're giving a full fucking airplane. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I was just gonna run with that bit. We gave you an airplane! Shut up! <laughs> Lay off, man. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? Fenrir is an elite fighting unit based on, based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, there are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim a, that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the wolves of Ragnarok, their, their mere presence is enough to strike fear into any enemy. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, their, con their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing that many state secrets they acquired. Some, however, believe they were, there was mounting internal tension within the group, and they simply imploded. Wow. What is it? This all just sounds like some kind of alternate reality. Hmm. Well, it isn't. This is our reality. The only reality. These people are part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from ours living our lives here, unpredictable, unmanageable world. That makes it all so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I would use. 
So did anything jump out at you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Now that you mention it, the report said something about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? <laughs> That's right. It says Fenrir is the wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? So that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Yippee, it confirmed the tattoo. So you know this information, but you keep saying the body is Kyoko. You're being a bitch on purpose. <laughs> they got a tattoo of Fenrir. Could that mean... Oh my god! Bing bong. Woo! Time is utterly silent. Oh, that's and new. And yet it constantly assaults us. Organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. Yippee! So, please meet Yippee! up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later. Hmm. Then the time has come. All we can do now is try to uncover the truth during the class trial. That's right. It would seem so that way. Let's go. Well. Nope, oh, that's the wrong well. one. That's where we stop for today.